This system here we just put in, actually uh, about a month ago, we finished uh, installation of this new system. This is uh, two Mazak Variaxis 630 machines uh, hooked to a 28 pallet, fully automated uh, robotic system. Each machine has a 352 tool magazine. They're absolute monster tool magazines. And we did that so that we could, again, have lots of parts set up in our pallet system and be able to run around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with many different families of parts. The parts don't have to look like the next part. Uh, we want to have redundant tooling in there so that if at three o'clock in the morning that on-machine inspection uh, tells us that there's a problem with a part, the machine can go back, recall that part, call up a, a redundant tool and, uh, and recut that surface and then deliver a, a finished good quality part. Instead of uh, you know, maybe having a broken drill and then you wind up in the morning, you come back and there's 50 pieces that are missing a hole. That's not, that's not gonna happen in these new machines. This new system, Hoppy Tool just invested over $2 million in this new system. This is the, the a one of a kind here on the East Coast able to see uh, the magnitude of this system. Again, 28 pallets. These machines are both full five axis. This is a 28 pallet system hooked to two full five axis Mazak Variaxis 630Ts with a uh, cell controller. So from this control module, we're able to schedule the work. We can tell what you know what jobs are running on what machine, not only from here at the workstation, but this is also networked. So the, the uh, people with the appropriate access are able to also look at this. We can even look at this online when we're not here at the factory. So it's really, it really is truly a cyber workspace. What we have here now, in this case, we have two load and unload stations, but both of these stations uh, have the same uh, you know, on machine inspection capabilities. And you can see uh, the inspection report for the parts that just came off of this machine here. What we do is we have a, a 3D rendering of what the part looks like with the dimensions indicated that are gonna be inspected. And then you scroll down and you can actually see what the, uh, those dimensions look like. So again, you're, you are 100% assured that the part quality that you're getting off is what the customer wants. When we bought these machines, we checked all the boxes on the options. Uh, we bought all. Of, we we buy all of our machines now with a thousand psi coolant through the spindle, so we're able to uh, uh, do again light depth of cut, very high RPM, deep hole drilling. We have uh, coolant right through the tool at the uh, at the cutting surface, uh, so it's keeping the work cool. Again, reducing the stress on the materials. Uh, you can see this uh, cooling tower here. Uh, we refrigerate all of our coolant so that uh, all of the temperatures in the machine, uh, again, we're taking the coefficient of thermal expansion of the actual machine tool itself out of the equation. Um, whatever we can do to drive part quality uh, through uh, buying the right equipment uh, or through processes or through our, you know, the quality of our personnel, uh, we'll do it. So there are two of these machines, again, and you can see, in this case, uh, you can see both of the tool hives, and uh, this is sort of a good vantage point of being able to see what the tool uh, hive looks like, and the machine is actually taking uh, tooling and moving it to the machine tool here, but there's 352 tool positions on this machine, which allows us to be able to run around the clock, nonstop and we always have fresh cutting tool. So again, you can see a lot of different parts uh, all staged up, ready to go. Uh, in some cases, we've got fixtures that don't have any parts on them because we don't need to run those parts at this time. We're leaving the machine set up so that we don't have to you know, incur the additional expense of setting that job up every time the castings show up or, or uh, you know, the customer uh, can place a Kanban order, for example, and instead of having to have a whole bunch of parts laying around, we can just have the machine set up, ready to go. We get the material, we plug it in. We already know what the tack time is, so we're very much uh, able to predict what our uh, ultimate delivery will be, and it's a quality prediction.